So you say you want to be a gear reviewer and you want to be popular. Okay, here's how you do it. Plain and simple, you tell people what they want to hear. And that's all you tell them. Find out what the group think is online and then repeat it in your reviews. Whatever that review is. Knife review, gun review, here we have a watch review. If you do that, you will gain some measure of popularity. Guaranteed. Here in TMP, you know how I play it. <laughs> I will happily slap down groupthink. And one of the groupthinks when it comes to value dive watches is this. It's Seiko or nothing. Seiko or nothing. I've talked about this. Don't get me wrong. I love the Seiko brand. There are some of their pieces I'm very enthusiastic about. But when it comes to their dive watch line, for me, I have to look around a bit before I, I find one that I would personally wear, at least without modification. I'm a programmer. I can change the appearances of pretty much most analog watches. But without modification, I go, nope, don't want to wear that one. Nope, won't wear that one. Nope, nope, nope. And I know because I've owned them. I've owned a, a 007, 009, hated them. Hey, if you have them and you love them, I say, go for it. Don't let my preferences change your love for these pieces. They're cool. But here in the Nothing Fancy Project Watch Show, I don't rave about Seiko dive watches that much. I do review them, and there are some of them, like I said, that I really do like. Maybe love. Here comes one. Seiko SRP C59 Kilo 1, 160 bucks paid. This is a Seiko 5 value line for our 36 powered automatic dive watch. It's fantastic. I like it a lot. It needs a damn hand modification. It totally does. We got shiny hands here. Yeah, I may do that. Great loom though. Tough, durable, small effective face, fat bezel. Bezel's kind of wobbly. Look at this. But you know, it's a cork. I, I, it doesn't make me hate the watch. I, I really like it. And I know Seiko 5 is their uh, value line. I get it. And I've reviewed the Seiko 5 dive watches before. I really love this watch. I do. It's really cool. But it's not the end all dive watch for me. It's not. There's several other brands that, that I'm more enthusiastic about. You're looking at several of them on the table. Yes. Yes. It is a another... <laughs> Deep Blue Watch Review, Nothing Fancy Project. No, I'm not paid by DB. I'm not. <laughs> they don't give me free watches. They don't. The, all the pieces you see on table, I've either purchased with my money or I've loaned them from non-manufacturer sources, i.e. buddies who buy watches like crazy. That's, that's how you see a watch here in TMP. So I can say whatever I want. And in this case, I'm going to rave about a new watch. You're looking at it right here that Deep Blue has come out with. I don't know if you know about it. No, I, I don't know if you do. I, I, we're going to look at it in detail. I'm going to tell you why I really love it and why I think it's a, a setting new standards for dive watch coolness. Coolness. We're going to kind of concentrate on the second cool thing. But first, let's remind ourselves why Deep Blue is such a great brand here, at least in TMP. And it would center around probably the Master 1000 here in a beautiful, striking yellow coloration. NH35A movement. Just a great, well, it's a Seiko movement. See, I do like Seiko. <laughs> I, like, I like Seiko movements. They're fantastic. Hand winding, hacking, stick hands in this variety. Comes in so many awesome colorations. Ceramic, bezel, sapphire crystals, perfect size at 44 millimeters across, screw down crown. This one, 300 meter water resistance. Again, this is a Gen 1, and you can tell because they have solid case backs, like so. So here's a Gen 1, Master 1000, always serial numbered, just fantastic value. If you get these deep blue watches with the coupon codes you can find, it's a no brainer. You should have like 10 of them, 10 of them. You know, paying full price, uh, I'd probably wait. I would. Here's a Gen 2 Master 1000, or I call it an M1K. Hands modified, uh, modified by myself, programmed, I call it. So I painted these hands matte black. 
I might have taped these actually. I think I did tape these so I can restore it to OEM appearance if I want to. And this has a completely loomed face, guys. Take that, Seiko. So where's your loomed face varieties, Seiko? Or Citizen for that matter. Uh, maybe I missed them, but I ain't never seen it. So for cutting edge design, second cool, it's going to be deep blue still. And this is a long time running. I'm going to charge this up super briefly and just show you. I'm going to show you on the, the new watch too, how they look. And I'll say this, and I don't know if I've said this before in any other WRVs. Loom faces are some of my all time favorite analog watches because they look great. They have a pop of color. And then you get this practicality right here. Look. Look at that. It looks like it's a neon sign. It's beautiful. And with those stark black hands that I modded, you don't have to do that. They look fine without it. But, dude. Oh, my gosh. I left the seconds hand alone on this, on this one because it just looks fantastic. Okay. And these are inexpensive. Inexpensive. Seiko movement. Perfect size, perfect silicone straps. Enough introing. Let's go on to the heart of the matter. A new watch built by Deep Blue. I just mistakenly happened upon it through my research. So I went to their website, just clicking around. I was like, what the hell? The Alpha Marine 500? Where did this thing come from? I'm serious. That's exactly what I said. I was like, what the hell? So I have no connection with Deep Blue. They don't email me and say, hey man, we got a new watch coming out. We want you to promote. I'm just some goofball. I, and I, I'm busy doing other stuff. Knife reviews, gun reviews, you know, this stuff. Talking about F-106s, other stupid crap. <laughs> so I, I fall behind. And as soon as I saw this online, I said, that's a win. That is that watch is going to be hugely popular with Deep Blue. It'll be it'll match the M1K. That's my prediction. Both uh, well, Gen One's gone, the Gen Twos. It'll match it, maybe even exceed it. The one thing that might hold it back a little bit is that it's more expensive. So why why we uh, I just can't speak while we use a Seiko NH35 movement here, these Deep Blue Alpha Marine 500s. Again, that's the name. They are using a Miyota 9015 movement. Few differences, if you care. Few differences. So 42 hour power reserve with a Miyota 9015. I find they're accurate to about five seconds per day. Miyota will say 10 to 30 seconds per day. And about 20 to 40 seconds on the NH35, as if you're keeping track. <laughs> as if you're keeping track. Uh, 28.8 beats per hour, 21.6 with an NH35. I guess they're more expensive. The Miyota versus the Seiko movement, which is kind of surprising to me. But I think if you were to ruin this movement and have to replace it, of which I've done with several watches, I wouldn't say many, they're saying it's around 100 bucks to go get a Miyota movement. So I think that accounts for some of the price difference on these. So Seiko movement, less expensive for whatever reason. Miyota 9015, more expensive. Also, it's a new watch, so they put in, I guess, money to design it. Okay, obviously, this is the white with blue markings and blue hands version of the beautiful Alpha Marine 500. I really don't know where to start as I rave about this watch because they got so many elements correct on this. But yes, there's a couple things I wish I could change. One, I wish... This bezel was not shiny. It is a ceramic bezel on the Alpha Marine 500. I, I wish it was like this one, a matte ceramic, you know. That would be better. Actually, this one isn't ceramic. The, the Gen 2s are. It'd be cool. You know, uh, matte versus shiny. That's just a small quibble, small. Uh, most of it is just fantastic. Uh, since we're looking at the bezel, we got full markings here. Look at that. And they're filled I just reviewed that uh, Tritium, the T100 Lefty Diver, and I was talking about how it would fill those markings on that watch to be just like these. And it has full numeric markings on it. I like that. Ticks all the way around. This is how you do a, a bezel, ladies and gentlemen. So remember that Seiko I just showed you. And I don't mean to pick on Seiko. I'm not saying Seiko sucks. I love Seiko. 
But if we're gonna if we're gonna be detail people, and we are admit it as watch people, you're not into watches and not into the details. Bezel action is one of those things. It's a second cool thing. You know, I'm sorry. This this Alpha Marine absolutely destroys it in preciseness. I'm just being honest. Hey, but that's a value Seiko Five. Do it up against a more expensive. Okay, you have a point. You have a point. And I'm sure I could bring a more expensive Seiko on. And you're right. It, it'd be just like this. Again, I love Seiko. But I'm just trying to make a value argument for this and, and precision argument. So the bezel couldn't be more perfect. We have a pip at the 12 o'clock with the diver triangle there. Then let's go to the face. It's pretty much all good. It's just clean. That's right. It's uncluttered. It's a beautiful face on every version you get of the deep blue Alpha Marine 500. Holy cow, could they have done it any better? No, not really. They do have a chapter ring in here, but look at how thin it is. And they did that so it would give the dial some depth, give that diver three-dimensional depth to it. Then we have our minutes markings on that chapter ring. And then we have our stick markers with a 12, three, six, and nine. Would I have liked it with a full numeric set? Mm, yeah, I would have, but it's still cool like this. And on the loomed face, yes, this is also a loomed face. They just really will pop. Great markings, deep blue logo here. I like the typeface that they did Alpha Marine 500 in right here. And yes, water resistance to 500 meters, hence the name, Alpha Marine 500. That is fantastic. We have a the outgrowth of the 9015 movement. We just have a date in positive display. Always too small. All those dates are almost always too small, at least for me. But I usually look at my smartwatch to get that date. Uh, the hands. Oh, my goodness. The hands. Well, they're not sword hands, and they're not really stick hands. I guess the minutes hand is a stick hand. But we have kind of a turtle-like triangular hand, just like we saw in that Seiko, right? It's pretty much the same thing, right? Yeah, pretty much the same. I, I like it. And I've said that in my earlier watch reviews. If you go back four years, I said, yeah, I don't mind the triangle hands. Like this one right here, I like it. And notice it's not outlined in shiny shit. <laughs> it's not. It has a dark outlining on it. Another design element that DB got right. <laughs> I know, I'm so particular. So are you. You have your own preferences. I don't like shiny hands, and hence I paint them or tape them to get rid of said shininess. Second hand, perfect. Perfect. Now, would I mod this and make it a consistent solid blue? Well, funny you should ask. Funny you should ask, because I do have another coloration, uh, one of several I have for you to show you. Some purchased, some loaned. Uh, here's one I did hands mod. This is a deep blue Alpha Marine. 500 with a nothing fancy programmed appearance. Boom, right there, dudes. <laughs> nothing fancy, you just cannot leave your damn watches alone. I know, but look at how cool that looks. Now, some of you guys say, well, I just like it the way it was. I, I hear you. On this one, I was just experimenting, and since it's a loomed face, you don't lose nothing. Remember that, you don't lose anything. So I didn't lose any loom, uh, first cool loom on this. And this is the teal blue version. So we have a blue ceramic bezel, kind of a teal blue face, orange markings. The hands, I'll show you before I molested them and changed them, were f fantastic. I don't remember if those had shininess on them or not. They probably did. <laughs> and this one I showed you, they didn't. So it's like, I don't know, gunmetal. I guess they are shiny, but they're gunmetal shiny. Okay, let's look at the case back on these Alpha Marine 500s. I signed this one, Lieutenant Colonel Nutton Fancy, Jan 2021 in Utah. This is serial number 652. I could sell this for more than I bought it for. Guaranteed. Sapphire crystal as a reminder. Screw in case back. And it's interesting that here's a Gen 1 Alpha Marine 500, and they're doing just as a Gen 1 Master 1000. They're going with the solid case back, and it's basically an identical case back which is cool. Maybe they come out with the Gen 2s later and they'll go with a see-through case back. So you can see the Miyota auto movement in there. Kind of cool. Now the straps are interesting on these. 
and we'll get to the case details here in a second. So uh, they actually, when they came out with the Alpha Marine 500s, they have all stainless steel bracelets. So they had an engineer bracelet, a Jubilee bracelet, a rice bracelet, and they looked great, but I wanted to save money. I'm just being honest with you guys. So I contacted Deep Blue as a consumer. I said, is there any way I can purchase the Alpha Marine 500 with silicone straps to save money? And to be honest, I don't wear bracelets that often. And they contacted me and said, yeah, we can do that. And they worked with me and I was able to get it with the silicone straps when I purchased them. Awesome. And look at this one. How cool this is. A wave silicone strap. What the heck? That is awesome. So it has a diver extension in the wave pattern. That is so cool. Silicone. It's going to ventilate under there. Deep blue logo here. Double keepers. Again, these are 22 millimeter lugs on these Alpha Marine 500s. That looks alien-like, doesn't it? Just kind of an alien-looking strap. So I think Deep Blue, I did send them a, a thank you uh, note, and I said, hey, thanks for working with me on those. Is there a way that my viewers can also get the Alpha Marine 500 with a variety of straps? Do what you do with the, the Deep Blue uh, Master 1000. In other words, we can get silicone straps, we can get NATO one pieces, we can get two piece ISO frames like this one. And the answer was yes. So it's set up on their website for you guys. You'll save just under a hundred bucks by going with a silicone strapped Alpha Marine 500. And I think you're going to enjoy it more. It'll be a more enjoyable piece for you because it's going to be more comfortable. If you like the stainless steel bracelet, which I'm really not talking about in this review, I say go for it. I know Deep Blue, I do have one of those and the quality is fantastic. It's just heavier and it is all the things that a bracelet is. Just so you know. Case on these suckers. Again, we looked at the dimensions already. There's a knurling on the bezel. I did not specifically mention it. We'll compare it against Gen 1 of the Master 1000. Gen 2 of the Master 1000. So it has a little coarser knurling on the bezel more scallopy, and then the case is a little bit different, actually a lot different than Master 1000. Notice this has a kettle appearance, which I absolutely love on the M1K, but this is more cylindrical. I also love that. Deep blue logo here on the crown, awesome. Nothing fancy, you said he had another color, where is it? It's right here. White orange, look at this one. I know you guys are going to love these colors. They are fantastic. Uh, this one is might be a little more polarizing, and I bet you I know why. Oh, hold on, hold on, 106. I want to bust off your pedo tube. Because the blue with the teal face doesn't exactly match, and as detail guys, some watch guys go, yeah, I can't do that. I need to have a match. To me, I'm okay with it. I don't have a problem with it at all. But here's the white variation. How cool is that? Orange markings. And... They do have shiny outlines, but they're not silver shiny. They're gunmetal. So they're gunmetal outlined hands. You can kind of see that right there. And then I have one more version to show you on loan. This one is so cool. You'll love this one. So it's going to be kind of like that same aesthetic with the Luminox, the orange and black, which to this day, make no mistake, I absolutely love this color. I love this watch, even though it's a different piece. It's called polycarbonate case. I've had this one for about eight years, super lightweight, but I love the orange and black. And here you go, Alpha Marine 500. There's a size comparison, by the way. Look at that one. Oh, that's so cool. And look at the orange in the bezel. You got an orange pip. Remember, every one of these faces is completely loomed dudes and we're going to look at that right now with only the highest production quality known to mankind in the nut and fancy project <laughs> hey if you guys give me a hundred thousand views and i'm able to monetize to a much higher level i will do much higher production quality <laughs> on these wrvs i will i think most guys especially my donors they don't care they, they love the raw nature of my watch reviews because they know they're honest it's not a bunch of horse shit Okay, let's take a look. And I didn't charge these up very long. Dude, dude, that is fantastic. Now you'll have different loom colors 
uh, with each version. I think Deep Blue will remind you what they are. Look at this. I didn't even charge this one up. It just got residual light, and it's right here. Notice the orange is fading quicker, although I didn't really give it a great charge. So probably my fault. But uh, the loom will last pretty much all night long to a dimmer level. I just love loom faces. They are so fabulous. So fabulous. I, I, I don't mind the orange one, even though it's not quite as bright. Let me charge it up just a little bit more. Uh, just because it looks so cool during the daytime, and that's mostly what you're going to be using it for, right? Daytime use. Now, if this this WRV, this nothing fancy WRV, I guess it's going to be long form because we're over 21 minutes now. No apologies. We're having a great time. If it gets a lot of views, I'll go freaking dive these in the Pacific Ocean. We'll see how they do. And no, I ain't going deeper than 40 feet. No, I won't. There you go. Look at the orange markings on that bezel, dude. Alpha Marine 500, perhaps my new favorite dive watch. Love the M1K still. I have a lot of love with it. Look at the colorations of those. So you saw the looms on all those colorations. They're just all different personalities. And daytime, they have different colorations as well. What is not to like? Well, I guess if you, you were to level a criticism of one sort or another against these watches, they're going to be more expensive than a Master 1000. That's a valid criticism. And in that case, I say go with a Master 1000. Here's a Gen 1 programmed by myself, pure white matte, pure white hands against a blue abalone face. I mean, these are watches once I put on, I don't ever want to take them off. I don't. I was like, dude. Why do I want to take that watch off? It's so fantastic. So that's my review on the amazing and apparently new Stealth, because I didn't know about it, Deep Blue Alpha Marine 500 watches. Oh my goodness. What great watches. What great watches. Great job, Deep Blue. Keep them coming. Man, we love your watches. And by the way, I know you're wondering, what are you wearing today, nothing fancy? Well, it should be a Deep Blue after this rave, but it's not. It's actually an Oris Air Racing 5. Yeah, Oris Air Racing 5, purchased, used, with apparently a rubber band next to it. And before we end, I'm going to put one of these on my ugly wrist so you can see what it looks like. Let's use the orange one. Oh, dude! Oh, that makes me so happy. So happy. Daddy's so happy. Look at that, dudes. I love it. Again, these have downturn lugs, so if... If you have smaller wrist sizes, don't think you can't rock one of these. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Send it back. They'll take it back in return. So cool. So cool. Hey, nothing fancy. What's that rubber band for? To remind me when the review is over. Ouch.